Welcome back to Garfield the Lightning's Black 2 and Evolve run. Let me just spray a super repel. And then I can get going. Hold on. I used a smoke ball to so that I could get here without using a super repel, but did I put the eagle light back? Yeah, I did. Good. Okay. Right, yeah. Let us just get going then. I can go either up to the middle or to the right if I want to get to the Pokemon League, but I'm just going to explore the whole place anyway. And to the right there's a trainer, so I might as well go this way and... Come on, fight me. Get straight into a trainer battle. So let's get going. What have you got? Okay, he has an Electabuzz. I've got Cosita out in front, and since Electabuzz is pretty fast, Seems logical to set up the trick room. Well, that uh, hasn't really done anything to me at all because I'm just gonna outspeed it in under trick room anyway. So, well, I say it wouldn't do anything to me at all. It would, if it fully paralyzed me, then I wouldn't be saying that. I guess we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so he's going for facade. Well, I do have a problem with that. I do have a problem with this paralysis though. Way it's looking. See, just using facade those few times, just he's probably trying to fake me out. He's gonna, because I know he has thunderbolt. He's got to, and it's gonna do more. So I think I'm going I don't think I can really take it out because look at that, how little that psychic did. So I'm just gonna go into Sandal before it thunderbolts me to death. And you see, there you go. Thought it might do something like that. You're trying to outwit me, are you? Well, it won't work. You have to get up earlier in the morning than that. <laughs> okay, so that was not too bad, and now the trick room seems to have worn off. I'm not sure whether that's good or... Well, probably pass are pretty slow anyway. I don't know. We will go into Washwood, I think. Now, yeah, the thing is, well, should I go for Surf or Revenge against this guy? Revenge is super effective against both Rock and Steel, but it only doubles in power if it hits me. Uh, but it should still do more than Surf, so I think I'll just go for Revenge anyway. Okay, he's paralyzing me again. He just loves to paralyze me, does this guy. <laughs> Let's see how much Revenge does without that damage boost. Well, it looks like a uh, revenge if I get hit. We'll just knock it out, so let's go for that. Uh, if I survive this discharge, yeah, I can just knock it out with revenge. Lovely. Alright then. That was actually <laughs> a battle where none of my Pokemon fainted. We were on a streak of one. Yeah, it is unbelievable. He's got that right. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I've got the sniffles these days. It's crazy. So, let us get going. We'll get we'll get going after he's stopped talking to me and giving me cherry berries. Sure, I mean I like you and you give me berries, but a bit of a you know, takes quite a while and stuff. Alright, back outside again. This is um, kind of reminiscent of Victory Road of Black and White, the first ones. That was uh, pretty much all caves and outside bits. This has got this has got quite a bit more variety. This Victory Road, which I quite like. I think it's a fitting end, you know, to your adventure. Have a little smorgasbord of lots of different kinds of area. I like it, and I think I, I think the end stretch being a kind of hilly bit reminiscent of the original black and white Victory Road is a good move too. I think it's good. It's sort of very evocative, about as evocative as you can get in a Pokemon game, I'd say. Anyway, so yeah, that's good. I like this place. There's not a lot more to go before the end. 
There's a few more trainers, obviously. There's a few branching paths that you can take. But basically, you just uh, keep heading up and you'll find your way to the end, basically. That's uh, all you've got to remember if you're getting a bit lost. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, the one Pokemon a black belt could send out that Gothita wouldn't be able to take out, of course. A bug type. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to have to switch out right away. There's nothing Gothita can do here. Apart from Trick Room, but you know. It'll probably die before it could even tri set, set that up. Let's see it from Trick Room, though. There's no problem there. Well, I say that and then it freaking bulldozes me. <laughs> Hmm. Well, you know. Litwick is pretty strong. And L Finster doesn't have the greatest special defense, so maybe a flamethrower can knock it out? Okay, good. Good stuff. Right then, what's he got next? Oh, I suppose I should have seen, seen it coming, shouldn't I? Heracross. <clears throat> right then. Obviously, Gothita's got a super effective move, but I don't know if it can really take Heracross on. Well, I'm gonna try it anyway, but we'll see. A psychic. We'll still see how much psychic does. Should do a fair bit, I'd have thought. Super effective. Okay, that was pretty good. Did more than half, but Mega Horn. Doing a huge number on me. Thought I might be able to survive with that Eevee light, but nope. None of that. Well, after after it being weakened like this, I could just go straight into Timber. I doubt it Heracross can knock Timber out, so I can just Ice Punch it. And do some damage. Didn't quite KO, unfortunately. Okay, hopefully... Yeah, Trick Room is still up, that's good. I was just thinking that would be the worst, absolute worst case scenario if Trick Room ran out there, because if, you know, even if Trick Room wasn't up, he would have used close combat, lowers his defences, and I could have knocked out in one hit from there with Ice Punch. But this turned out well too. There's a streak over of battles without KOs. We had a good run, guys. We had a good run. But it had to come to an end, eventually. I did buy quite a lot more revives as well, off camera, as well as uh, delete those unnecessary HMs on my from my Pokemon. And then I came back here, obviously, I bought some more Moomoo Milk as well, just to make sure I didn't run out of all this stuff. So yeah, that's <coughs> basically what I did. Okay. Right, we just got to move Timber to the back after taking that hair across out, I think. Let me just check again. Yep, there we go. Alright, so what is this item? It's a Max Elixir. Oh, you can see half the Zoroark from here. We'll see what all that's all about later on, but not yet. What have we got here? Got a normal gem. It's adding to my lovely collection of different elemental gems. Wondering whether I should. You can find them in random dust clouds, so I'm wondering if I should just uh, off camera, um, sort of rifle through random dust clouds, uh, see if I can find complete my collection of gems before I take on the Pokemon League. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to bother to do that. I mean, you know, sometimes they can make the difference, but I don't know. I'm not sure whether I should do that. Let me just... okay. Hopefully Gathita can actually take this Fraxer out for once. Hasn't been able to, take a, <coughs> to do much to take a lot of Pokemon out yet. But I can do Trick Room and then that Dragon Dance will be completely useless. Actually, it might help me because it's boosted its, he's boosted his attack. She's boosted her attack with it. So if I use Foul Play... Yeah, look at that. That did a lot of damage. 
good stuff. I can knock it out with another one. Thanks, Fraxu. You kind of uh, helped me out there. I'd say. Okay, he's got a Vanillax now. Well, I've got, I've still got, I've got this Litwick that would. That's going to be pretty good against this Vanillax. Just going to hit it with a flamethrower and see how much that will do. See if it melts as an ice cream. And there you go, critical hit even. Not sure whether it really mattered, but hey, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, am I? Right then. So, now we've got them all up to level 54. Pretty nice. They probably won't gain, uh... I don't think there are enough battles for them to really gain many more levels before the Elite Four, so... Some of them might go to level 55, I'm not entirely sure. I can't quite remember how many battles there are left. Or, I'm, I'm not sure how much experience they give me anyway. I need to heal my guys, just quickly. Well, my girl, sorry. Sorry, Gathita. Didn't mean to discriminate or anything. Just most of my Pokemon are guys, you know? Just how things turned out. So yeah, like I said, you just go up to go to Pokemon League, go up that way. Uh, oh, let's see. I think I'll go down to the left side. And then I can come up the middle. Yeah, I'll do that. That's probably the most, logic most uh, logical way of doing things. Alright, Battle Girl. Hope you don't have a pincer as well. What have you got? Please not a pincer. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. You know what's not absolutely fine? It's having Sandile be in front to take it on. That is uh, pretty awful, actually. Um, okay, what can I... What should I switch out to, though? Hmm. Not just... Jeez. Oh, uh, should I just go straight out to Cathedral or should I try my luck with Oshawott? I should probably just go into Cathedral. Yeah. I was going to Cathedral. Oh, we just went for Endure. Well, whatever. I don't know whether I should. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go for Trick Room because it's probably slower than Cathedral. Maybe. Well, uh, the Black Bells on the other side kind of had a little thing going of, you know, the two related Pokemon sort of thing, Throne Sort. So this, no, it's not Throne Sort, this, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. This one, I think, might be Throne Sort, because the other one's Pinsir and Heracross. So with that in mind, maybe I should go for Trick Room, just now, just to deal, just so that I can deal with Sort, but I... Hmm. I don't know, I don't really want to, because that means throw can hit me twice more. Now forget it, I'll just... Okay, I say hit, I could have just gone for it there. If I'd have... Yeah, yeah he's just going to use Endure, so... I could have gone for it there. Oh well, whatever. I'm sort of committed now, I'm just going to energy ball it. Probably have a sort, yep. I thought you might. Well, maybe Joshua can take you on anyway. <laughs> as long as I can uh, survive a hit, that is. We'll see how that goes. Go for that surf. Oh, it's just going for Endure, never mind. I was worried about it whacking me with a super, stupidly powerful close combat or something. But I can knock it out with another surf, you know? Oh, it's just going to go for low sweep. Never mind then. Never mind. That is absolutely fine. Fine with me. 
Oh dear. Okay. More sniffly. What is this? It's the end of February. It should be over cold season by now, as I thought. Oh well. Jeez. Okay, so what was I just switching over? Okay. Alright, have I got them all in the right order? Yep. Now let me just heal them up. Uh, got a bit of berry juice that I could give Cassita. And got some new milk for Ultra Watch, and that'll be that. Okay. Right, let's just keep going down. Looks like there's an item up here, kind of... This kind of mirrors the other side, it looks like. There's a similar kind of layout. Before I got that normal gem, got another rare candy. I guess, uh, you know, just before the Pokemon League would be a good a time as any to use rare candies you want to get your Pokemon up in levels, but you're getting levels pretty fast, even even now, really. So I don't know if there's any, if it really matters when you, you use it, you use them, to be honest. But you know, if you want, if you, one of your Pokemon's lagging behind or something, you want to get it up, some, or you want to get up those few levels, wouldn't hold it against you to do that stuff. Right, it's, he's uh, got his Vilas, which is a little scary, because pretty high attack, got that Hustle as well, which will boost its attack even more. It's quite a scary Pokemon to face. Sandal at least resists Dark, so let's see how Sandal does. Because it doesn't have Levitate until it evolves into High Dragon, I can just go for Earthquake. Okay, it's using, this is... Dragon Pulse is alright because its special attack is not that great. I was more worried about its physical attack. So that's okay. We got an Electros. Uh, there's not a lot Magnemite can do to Electros, is there? Not a lot anyone can do to Electros, to be honest. Um, hmm. Don't know. You know, Gathita could at least, um... Oh, well, Magnemite could, you know, uh... Freaking paralyze the thing. But I don't think a single one of my Pokemon can take it out on its own, because it just doesn't have any weaknesses. So let's just try um, paralyzing it with Magnemite first of all. Oh, it's got Flamethrower as well, but I can at least survive that, thanks to Sturdy. Okay, well this will make it easier. Should be able to just... I can, and I can, you know, hit it with an attack before Magnemite goes down. Hey, and it's going to take some Rocky Helmet damage thanks to that nice crunch. That was pretty, pretty helpful, Electros. Let's uh, try Timber now. Don't think a superpower would knock it out from here. And I don't really want to lower my defense just yet. So I'll go for ah, oh, geez. I guess Ice Punch first of all. Go for superpower. Maybe on the next turn. Oh, okay, it's paralyzed. That's fine then. Can definitely knock it out of super now. Judging by how much that ice punch did. And there we go. See, paralysis still has its place. Got the trick room, but you know, paralysis is can be helpful too. On Magnemite, who can't learn trick room especially. It's only the second arrive I've used this episode, I think. That's pretty crazy. What's going on? This isn't the Garfield the Lightning you know. 
No, well, maybe I'm being a bit more careful. <laughs> uh, or maybe I'm just getting lucky, that's probably... That's the more likely thing, I reckon. Okay, what have we got? We've got um, timber needing to go way in the back. And is that? I should really just, you know, start humming random tunes or something while I'm doing this. Make it more interesting, I suppose, marginally. Well, I've finished that for the time being. Maybe next time. Look forward to it. <laughs> Stay tuned. For next time on Garfield the Lightning's Pokemon Sorting Shenanigans. Okay. So. What have you got now? Seems to be a bit of quite a lot of symmetry between these two sides, because we had the Prince of Heracross throw sort thing. Now we've got Magma, which is kind of the counterpart to Electabuzz, really, or it was, at any rate. Okay, this is uh, kind of, this is obviously terrible for, terrible for Magnemite. So I'm going to have to switch right out of there into, I guess, Litwick. Or no, well, no, not Litwick. I can just switch to Oshawott, actually. I don't need to switch to Litwick. Yeah, I can just switch to Oshawott. Let me just do that. Here we go. can probably knock it out with one surf, assuming this flames there doesn't do too much. Okay, so a uh, nice lovely burn there. I can still survive though. I can still take a flamethrower from here and knock it out with a surf, although Oshbot's going to get knocked out afterwards. Well, okay, I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, didn't, I've got to admit, I didn't really take, wasn't planning on taking critical hits into account. jeez. Oh, what now? Hmm. Sure, yeah, let's, I don't know if, you know, can Cassita take a magma? Couldn't take that Electabuzz, so probably not. Oh, jeez, Oshawa. Why do you have to go down like that? Let's try Gothita anyway, at least I can trick him. Oh, man. Now it's got Faint Stack as well. Well, that is just fantastic, isn't it? The fun never ends. Oh, I don't know. Just gonna have to psychic, I suppose. Well, well, well. This has not gone well at all. I kind of wonder if Magnemite can actually take it out now because after that trick room, it should be able to just hit it with a few discharges. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get burned, for goodness sake. Okay, good. Ah, right. I said okay, good, but I think the burn message would, appear, would have appeared after that. Uh, anyway. Now i got a camera up. See, I'd love to have Oshawa alive with this, but... Nah, uh, Litvik's not going to be able to do anything. Let's just go into Sandal then, I suppose. Can hit it with a super effective earthquake. Yes. Let's just do that. Go for this earthquake. Oh, it's faster. Oh, I saw a trick room up, that's why. Of course. Good thing that will always missed. Would have been a little bit irritating had it hit me. Okay then. I will be sure to uh, not use that because my burned Pokemon has fainted thanks to that lovely critical hit your magma gave me. Oh dear. See, I talk about my Pokemon not not fainting, and then the very next battle, just uh, I just faint, you know. I should just stop talking about that kind of thing. Never gonna t never gonna end well for me. 
Right. Oh, geez, I should didn't think of a song to hum, did I? <laughs> There you go, that fit quite snugly in there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to teach my Pokemon strength now, just to push this boulder. Didn't even use Rock Slide on Timber in the time that I didn't have strength. Could have come in handy. Didn't. Oh well. Well, I guess that's a, you can see that as a positive, because if it's not a big thing, then it doesn't really matter too much if I replace it with strength, right? Yeah. Right, now, now I can go up this way, which will also lead up. Gonna have to use flash here, need to go into the bag yet again. Where is that flash? It's up here, isn't it? Okay, so that is uh, teach Flash to whatever, I guess. Uh, let's teach it to Magnemite, why not? In, case of, in place of Thunder Wave. Let's do that. And then we can use Flash. And then I can just delete it again. Happen not to do this since... Mistrelton Cave, have I? Oops, not that, and he's going to my bag. Mistrelton Cave, that has been quite a while. But as long as I don't leave this place, might just be this room, I think it's this whole area though. I shouldn't need to use Flash again. So yeah, I can, I'm pretty safe in just deleting that for Thunder Wave. Right, so let's see what's in here. It's pretty dark, but I wouldn't... I'm not going in there. Wouldn't rule out some trainers being here. Couldn't discount it. But I couldn't, you know, discount the possibility entirely. But let's have a look. I don't think there's anything across here, because it... I don't remember this place requiring you, yeah, requiring you to use Surf to get anywhere. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> the only Duff Clouds just coming up to tempt me. Well, it's going to be in the light. It's going to be one of those um, <clears throat> excadrills I can't run from, isn't it? So, so I'm a bit wary of that. Although it could be some cool item. Oh well, guess we'll never know. Well that's that little um, section done. Here we are at the middle bits. Up there is... Well, I'm going to go up there. You know, after I've explored this little place over this way. What have we got here? We've got another cave-like area. And... Okay, I think actually it's supposed to go this way. Yeah, I saw that little bridge. There's a small smidgen of it from up there. Got a dragon scale there. That will boost the dragon type move I don't have. Here's that Zoroark, and it does absolutely nothing when you talk to it, so... Let's forget that and move on. You can do something there later. Just not right now. How many super... It's fine, fine, fine. I'll run into one. Okay, Steel Gem, wonderful. Ah, jeez, you just... So many of them popping up. Oh, what? Still running into Pokemon. Oh, I didn't, uh... Kind of hoped I wouldn't have to run into these guys. Run, Gothita. Oh, okay. That was, that was pretty... That was pretty painless, actually. That is fine with me. Okay, so, here we are. 
We're almost at the end, but there's still a little bit more to go, and this episode has gone on for half an hour, so I think I'll stop there, and uh, next time I'll definitely finish Victory Road. You have my word on that. See you next time.